How do celebrities who earn millions of dollars a month live? They rent cheap apartments, drive old cars and bicycles, and dress their kids in hand-me-downs. And yes, I'm not joking. I'll tell you about real stars who don't spend money on luxury but prefer to live very modestly. Some of the world's richest people do this, and I'll show you at the end. Keanu Reeves. But let me start with an actor everyone knows. Keanu Reeves is a legendary figure who, despite his superstar status, leads an astonishingly modest lifestyle. Instead of settling down in a luxury mansion, he prefers temporary stays in hotels, moving from one to another depending on his filming location. And we're not talking about five-star hotels or presidential suites, but simple rooms in ordinary places. This actor not only brilliantly portrayed Neo in the cult Matrix trilogy, but also downplays his contribution to the films, considering it exaggerated, despite the fact that he earned a staggering $250 million. Furthermore, Keanu Reeves displayed rare generosity by giving away most of his earnings to the people who worked on the film, from costume designers to special effects experts. Twelve stuntmen were gifted legendary Harley Davidson motorcycles as a thank you from the actor. Not seeking luxury, Reeves prefers simplicity in everything Thing, from wearing mass market clothes to eating basic meals. At one point, he was even spotted sitting on a bench, enjoying a simple sandwich and juice, which led to the meme, Sad Keanu. This image became a symbol of his humility and humanity. Tragedies in his personal life, including losing his fiance and his sister's leukemia diagnosis, only intensified his desire to help others. Reeves actively supports hospitals and cancer research, emphasizing that money is the last thing worth thinking about. This man truly knows that happiness isn't found in wealth. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. Now let's talk about a celebrity couple. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis aren't just brilliant actors, but also people whose lives are filled with incredible stories of struggle and hard work. Ashton was born into a modest family in Iowa, where he learned the importance of earning money from a young age, whether it was odd jobs on a farm or participating in school plays. Mila, on the other hand, came to the US from Ukraine as a child, and her family started their American life with just $250. Their shared story began while working on a pop TV show where they first met, but at the time, there was no romance. Fast forward decades later, after becoming successful and recognized actors, they started a family. Despite being among the highest paid stars in Hollywood today, Ashton and Mila haven't forgotten their humble beginnings. In their daily lives, they continue to follow principles of frugality and practicality. This applies to everything, from managing their household budget to raising their children. Ashton and Mila emphasize that their children, a son and a daughter, should also understand the value of money and learn to appreciate what they have without excess or overindulgence. This philosophy helps them stay grounded and connected to real life, despite the glitz of Hollywood premieres and million-dollar paychecks. Jennifer Lawrence Jennifer Lawrence is another great example of how someone can remain true to themselves despite the flashing cameras and glamorous events. While her red carpet appearances draw admiration, in everyday life, Jennifer opts for comfort and simplicity. She prefers jeans and loose-fitting clothes and often goes out without makeup, making her look like an ordinary American girl. Lawrence skillfully uses accessories like hats and glasses to blend in with the crowd and avoid unwanted attention. She's also known for her relaxed attitude towards beauty standards. She openly talks about her disagreement with the ideal of a skinny female body and doesn't feel the need to give up culinary pleasures to fit into fashionable ideals. Rather than spending time at high society parties, Lawrence prefers to relax with friends, watching good movies, and enjoying pleasant company. Her approach to finances reflects her life priorities as well. Jennifer saves a significant portion of her earnings for the future and actively participates in charity, sharing her wealth with those in need. Truly impressive, right? Russell Crowe. And how could we forget about this humble guy? Over the past two decades, Russell Crowe, known for his role as General Maximus in Gladiator, has undergone a noticeable transformation. While he was once associated with an athletic and toned physique, today he presents a very different image, a friendly and charmingly plump man. These changes are partly due to the need to alter his appearance for roles in films like The Loudest Voice and Unhinged, where his characters required a more massive build. But it's not just the demands of film that have influenced his transformation. Transformation. Russell Crowe has found his sanctuary on his ranch in Australia, where he enjoys the peaceful simplicity of rural life. He loves the isolation and the simplicity of farm living so much that he jokes about only moving back to America if a world-scale catastrophe or an invasion of Martians occurred. Family plays a central role in the actor's life. Russell considers the birth of his two sons his greatest achievement. Despite his divorce, his children often visit him on the farm, helping with various chores. His parents and his brother's family also live on this 
this cozy family estate, creating a warm and supportive atmosphere. With his time divided between filming and managing the ranch, it's hard for Russell to be distracted by Hollywood buzz or new trends, as his life now revolves around family and nature. Jennifer Garner. And what can we say about this beauty? Jennifer Garner is not just a famous actress, but also a woman whose life has been shaped by strict and religious values instilled from childhood. Her parents raised her with strict rules, no makeup, no jewelry, and modest clothing, all of which left a mark on her entire life. These lessons gave Jennifer a strong sense of the value of money and the need for frugality, which was especially useful at the start of her acting career when she was earning just $150 a week. Today, Jennifer is a mother of three and a role model for living modestly. She prefers a bicycle as her daily transport, which not only helps her stay fit, but is also an environmentally friendly choice. Garner regularly uses it for trips to the supermarket, the market, and clothing stores, choosing wardrobe updates from regular shops, despite her million-dollar earnings. Even though she has the status of a star and the opportunity to attend glamorous events, Jennifer remains true to her life principles. She prefers to take her grown-up children to important events instead of bodyguards, highlighting family values and closeness in relationships. Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley is not falling behind either. The star sets herself clear budget limits when buying clothes, trying not to exceed the set amount. Kira prefers simple and affordable designs, avoiding well-known brands and not using the services of professional stylists. This principle of thrift and independence is also evident in her approach to entertainment. Kira Knightley is known for her rejection of the glamorous life. She admits that the most memorable and fun parties in her life happened in far from bohemian settings. This emphasizes that for her, true pleasure and joy are not necessarily tied to luxury and excess. Kira values simplicity and authenticity in all aspects of her life, showing that true happiness lies not in things, but in genuine moments and real emotions. Sandra Bullock. But modesty is not the most important thing. You also need to know how to give back if you've been fortunate in life. Sandra Bullock is one of those Hollywood stars whose name is associated not only with acting talent, but also with philanthropy. She has donated over $4 million to the American Red Cross, can you imagine? Her personal life also reflects deep values. Sandra adopted two children, striving to provide them with a caring and loving home. Although she once believed that a happy family life in Los Angeles was impossible and chose New Orleans as her place of residence, where she even opened her own bakery, she has spent recent years in Beverly Hills. Nevertheless, despite moving to one of the most prestigious areas of Los Angeles, Sandra continues to lead a relatively modest lifestyle. She does not focus on luxury and glamour, preferring to direct her resources and attention to charity and raising her children. Sarah Jessica Parker. And remember when I talked about a star whose kids wear hand-me-downs? Sarah Jessica Parker, despite her $100 million fortune, is known for her modest lifestyle, making her one of the most respected actresses in Hollywood. Her upbringing in a large family that relied on social services played a key role in shaping her outlook on life. These early lessons taught both Sarah and her husband, actor Matthew Broderick, the value of money and the importance of frugal living. Sarah Jessica claims that they don't buy new clothes for their children, preferring that they wear hand-me-downs from their cousins. She even admitted that she may have never bought new clothes for her son, except for a winter coat and shoes. This approach not only highlights her modesty, but also sets an example of sustainable consumption in a modern world that often glorifies consumerism. Hayden Christensen. Here's another example of how money and fame can help clarify the right priorities. Hayden Christensen, known for his role in Star Wars, has chosen a calm and secluded life, far from the hustle of Hollywood. He returned to Canada, where he found peace on his own farm, away from the paparazzi and fame that exhausted him. Hayden set up a chicken coop, a stable, and also started growing organic vegetables and fruits. The actor's enthusiasm is so great that he even plowed the land himself with a small tractor. When his first harvest generated income, Hayden seriously considered expanding his farming operations. In addition, Christensen is committed to reducing the environmental footprint of his farm, switching entirely to solar energy, and constantly looking for ways to make his life even more eco-friendly. His dedication to sustainable living became even more meaningful with the birth of his daughter, Briar Rose, whom he raises with actress Rachel Bilson. Julia Roberts. How do A-list stars live? Julia Roberts, despite her status as one of Hollywood's most successful actresses, is known for her modest lifestyle and preferences, which starkly contrast with the stereotypes associated with stars of her caliber. Her comment that she never had enough dresses to consider herself a real lady reflects her grounded views and attitude toward material things. Instead of chasing luxury and excess, Julia prefers a life filled with simple joys and home-based activities. She enjoys growing organic 
organic vegetables in her garden, which not only highlights her commitment to a healthy lifestyle, but also shows her desire to be closer to nature. Roberts also knits clothes for her children herself, demonstrating her craft skills and her desire to spend time creating something unique and personal for her family. Even in her self-care routine, Julia opts for simplicity. She once admitted to using a basic hotel shampoo as her favorite hair care product. Roberts also avoids living in large cities like New York or Los Angeles, preferring the peaceful atmosphere of the small town of Taos. This choice of residence reflects her desire for seclusion and quiet, far from the noise and stress of big cities. Warren Buffett. And remember, I promise to tell you about the richest people in the world. Warren Buffett is an example of how extraordinary wealth can coexist with remarkable modesty and pragmatism. Despite having an estimated net worth of $72 billion, this American investor continues to live in the house he bought back in 1958 for $31,000. This house is far from a symbol of luxury, which is unusual for someone with such an income level. Buffett is known for his unconventional habits for a billionaire. He doesn't carry a mobile phone and doesn't use a computer at his desk. Instead of striving for the latest technologies, he sticks to tried and true methods of working and communicating. In terms of transportation and dining, Buffett also demonstrates his inclination for simplicity. He drives a used car and frequently dines at fast food restaurants, which are also part of his investment portfolio. His simple style of clothing is another testament to his preference for function over luxury. However, Buffett's simplicity in daily life contrasts with his extensive charitable work. He is known for his generous donations to various charitable organizations and has pledged to give away at least half of his fortune to charity by the end of his life. Mark Zuckerberg and now the internet's biggest modest guy. Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, is one of the most recognizable faces among the world's young billionaires, with a fortune estimated at around $70 billion. He became a billionaire at just 23 years old and has consistently ranked among the richest people on the planet since then. Despite his enormous wealth, Zuckerberg is known for his modest lifestyle. Mark prefers simple clothing, t-shirts and jeans, avoiding expensive suits, which has sometimes led to him being called the worst dressed person in Silicon Valley. He also drives a regular Volkswagen with a manual transmission, often eats at McDonald's, and lives in a $7 million home in Silicon Valley, a price significantly lower than many other homes in the area. Zuckerberg actively seeks to simplify his life in order to minimize the time spent on trivial decisions. He believes that this approach allows him to focus on truly important aspects of his work and life. This philosophy is also reflected in his philanthropic activities. In 2015, Zuckerberg announced his intention to donate 90 99% of his Facebook shares over his lifetime, a significant contribution to supporting various social initiatives. One of Zuckerberg's biggest expenses was the purchase of the Hawaiian island of Kauai for $100 million. However, this purchase wasn't driven by a desire for luxury, but by a commitment to preserve the island's flora and fauna, further demonstrating his dedication to sustainable development and environmental conservation. Impressive, right? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. And yet, Yes, if you enjoy interesting stories, know how to write scripts, edit, or voiceover videos, then check out our Telegram bot via the link in the description. I'd be happy to collaborate. Thanks for watching, friends.